what's up guys it's your boy ds and today we're going to be talking about the hammer now the hammer is one of those unga boonga weapons if you're trying to get heavy bonk damage um this is one of those weapons i i feel like this this unlike the nodachi is a weapon that can dish out really big numbers but there isn't really a criteria kind of just happens and what i mean by that is you know with the nodachi you got to charge it up but this one you know you just do your combo strings you'll be dishing out a lot of damage and it's really good so starting out we have the light attacks which is just you know three string combo right there uh nothing too crazy but i do want to mention the special button now well with the special button as you guys see there are these like light flashes uh and after if you press the special button it will basically upgrade your hammer and if you keep doing it as you see right there i did the really big slam that is basically going to be your biggest damaging move and all you have to do is press your spe special button to upgrade your hammer and then continue with your light combos now you don't have to upgrade it you can go into your next one and then just keep it going but upgrading it is going to allow you to dish out tons of damage and then looking at the heavy it is just one slam but you can upgrade this and whether you you can upgrade it and use your light or upgrade it and use your heavy and there's two different ways it'll go so this is the light one as you see right there and then if you heavy and then upgrade it into a heavy it'll go into this swing right here now the thing about that swing is you can actually infinitely do that as long as you keep on doing your special whenever it flashes and as you guys saw right there i did keep doing the move and you can keep doing it as long as you have stamina but as you you know as your stamina gets lower you won't be able to do the move now looking at the air light attack it's kind of like a downward slam that you can go into your normal or heavy combo if you want to now keep in mind on the ground you can light twice into your heavy and then it will allow you to go into other combos as well so even though this is a very big weapon it seems like it's very simple this weapon is very complex you have a lot of different combos you can do if you are using your special button because even in, whenever you're in the air you can go into your light and then off of that you can keep comboing also so this is pretty much a weapon that you can infinitely combo as long as you are using your special button to keep on upgrading and chaining all of your moves now talking about just the special button if you press it you will keep doing this spin right here and you will eventually upgrade it to the longer one and then upgrade it to the you know longest one right there and then finally come down with a slam now another thing about the special button is it's actually an attack move as well whenever you see these flashes on your light or heavy moves if you press the special button it'll upgrade but if you press the special button again it'll actually go into the spin and depending on which upgrade you're at it will already be at that spin for the special button as you guys see right here i go into the spin and it's already you know a little bit longer but let's say i upgrade twice and then do it As you can see right here, it's already at the longest part of it, and then it will go into the slam. So depending on how many times you upgrade with your light attack or your heavy attack, and then depending on how many times you press your special button, it will go into the special spin at levels one, two, or three. Now, like I now I know that's a lot of information, but this is a very mechanical weapon, so I apologize. Um, and I'm trying to explain it and show you as best I possibly can. Now, one cool thing that this weapon has is you can actually launch Katakuri with this weapon. As you guys will see, whenever you press your special button, it will launch Katakuri. Now, you can launch the boxes, you can launch uh, springs, you can launch pretty much any of them, as you guys will see. So, it's a pretty cool thing, and depending on which one you launch, they all do different things. If you launch a box, it'll just do, you know, one small normal tick of damage. If you launch the spring, it will do double the box's damage, but that's because it costs double the thread. If you launch the glider, it will actually do pierce damage, spinning through the kimono. And then, if you launch the torch, it will do explosive damage on impact. 
So speaking of Katakuri, let's go ahead and get into the Katakuri moves. If you jump off a box, you will go into the downward swing, which is basically your light move in the air. If you use a spring, it'll basically be your heavy in the air. And you can go ahead and continue this combo over and over as long as you press your special move and then hit your, you know, whatever attack button you want. And then if you look at the torch, obviously, it is going to add fire to your hammer. And then you can go into a combo or do whatever you want there as well. And then looking at the glider, it will be a downward slam also. Now, talking about the best damaging moves you could possibly do, if there's not a really big window for you, you can just go into three lights, get you all some quick damage, and then get out of there. But the big thing that you want to do, the biggest bang for your buck, is going to be the three lights with upgrading with your special. So... As you can see right there, that last hit is going to be the biggest amount of damage you could possibly get. Now, like I said, you obviously will need a large window to do this because it takes quite a while for it to go off. Now, one thing to note is you can actually start a kimono fight with a big slam. You just have to space yourself properly, as you guys will see right here. And then you can just go into a kimono fight and slam down because at the start, uh, kimonos, whenever you walk up to kimonos before you hit them, they're kind of just docile. They're not really doing anything. So if you want to get off a big slam before your fight starts, you can. Now, like I said, this is, it, you know, at first glance, it does seem like it's just a simple weapon. You go in, you hit the enemy, nothing crazy. But this is probably one of the more, if not the most complex weapons as far as the combos go in the game. Because of how you have the special button and the different combos you can go from light to heavy to special to special to light to aerials, etc, etc. So, uh, this is a weapon you are going to have to learn, but if you do learn it, it is going to be a very strong weapon for you guys and it will dish out a lot of damage. Now, this is a weapon that uses a bit of stamina, so you probably want to put some stamina into your build. That is going to help you a ton, but looking at some of the skills to use, Power Smash Boost Attack is going to be really good because it boosts the power of your spinning attacks with an extended maul so anytime you guys are doing the extended hammer spin it is going to boost that damage which is really nice now i'm going to tell you up front this one is going to be something that you have to play around and you are going to have to work towards this because you are going to have a smaller window but tunnel vision is going to be a really good one if you guys are wanting to go that route makes extension harder to achieve but boost attack for a while on success so extension being your special button so there is a smaller window for you to extend it but if you do get it off you will be rewarded with a lot more damage Another great one is going to be Rapid Halt. Makes it harder to lose stamina for a while after a successful aerial health extension. So basically, if you are, you know, doing the aerials, which if you're not doing the aerials, you don't have to get this. But if you are doing them and you do an extension, uh, it will be a really good addition because it will just basically make you lose less stamina, which will allow you to do more extensions in the air. Expert Hitter is also a really good one because basically, if you keep hitting Kata Curry at and a kimono you will extend your hammer or maul which is going to be really nice because you can basically with the katakuri it allows you to have ranged attacks and using them will reward you extended rep is also going to be a good one because it just boosts your damage whenever you extend your hammer so that's going to be nice health extension training is also a great one because it prevents reeling from attacks when using an extended maul and basically if there's any kimono that hits you with you know a small attack nothing too big you will not flinch or stagger so you can continue doing whatever you're doing the last one i want to talk about is shockwave because it makes it easier to render kimono unconscious with an extended attack which basically will put them to sleep or stun them which is really nice because if you do then you can basically get off your really big damage Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.